everyone, Zeno and Zuma here, welcome back, let's play Assassin's Creed 2. Awesome. Anyways, last time, we actually murdered the doge. There's no way to do it, we just did it. Alright, this one. I believe this is one of the last Templar layers, so we shouldn't worry about it. I see them! Cut him off! Master! I can't see him anymore! There he is! On him! There is Eccolo! There! There! Release me! Okay, I'll release you. He fell and fell again. do this which is good climb up nope okay I hope that I can catch nope I can't the problem is we have too much health, there's no point in uh, trying to murder and seal. I mean, it's good. <coughs> oh, I've never actually fell down this bad. This time. You're not allowed. Got you. He's there on him. I'll gut you like a fish. Talk. <laughs> this is my least favorite Templar tomb. It's not, in my opinion, this is the least well designed 
of the tombs. I don't know if it's the least desired of all from all the game, because uh, I believe Brotherhood has some form of tomb that is really badly designed in my opinion. No! That's the biggest reason why you can miss because of something that isn't your fault. And there is no way back up. Not without spending roughly a minute to get back. We can't just jump over there, even though we think. <coughs> Grab, pull over, climb over, climb. Your men broke into the treasure room and tried to steal from us. I had no idea. <coughs> I was busy at work on the street. You are thieves. Every one of you. I assure you, I come from a long line of city builders. I'm not a thief. You will not raise your voice with me and get away with it. Your men. So kill me then. At least I will have my honor, unlike the son of a pig farmer standing in front of me. He should have kept an eye on his men. Trying to break into the treasury is a serious offense. We needed him to build the ships. Now I'll have to go find another shipbuilder. Next time, inform the watch when you question an intruder instead of dealing with it yourself. Ass, you know. Also, because this chase is the most discombobulating. The way out. At least in my opinion. Because it can get so far ahead and you don't know where to go. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, what's worse? 
first so that we can probably kill him. Nope. Ah, oh, that's you. Ugh. That just shouldn't have happened. There. <laughs> I'm at base again. Why? He's not going to get me. reason we can't use our gun. Uh, I want to try... You know what? Try and get it. you! There we go. Two targets down. Order! Can't take us all, boy. We'll wear him down. I paura. Strong. Say more! Now! Your position, like you were killed. Bring it! <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Thankfully, we'll do this one again. Take our money and leave. Ship wrecked. <sighs> no more. No more of that one. Because, God, I hated it. I really did. Signore, mention me to your amici. That's it. Come back any time. Now we're all geared up to try and find this 
Bartolomeo. No, 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 stay away from me! The last imbecile who acted like you soon found me. This guy go up here when these guys can't climb? I'll never know. You must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stocks attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. So let's go search. No worries. sells his honor and dignity for a bit of coin. Realize you are in service to a traitor and a coward! Oh! Do you think I don't know why you've chained me up? Do you think I don't know who pulled Silvio's puppet string? I've been fighting this weasel of a master since before most of you put even glimmers in your father's eyes! Not you! You think you're cool. Remember to visit Bertuccio Cucina for all your life. Let me out! Unico pensiero sarà spiccarvi dal tronco quelle testi di canto e piccarvi super il culo! And I'm going to And I... Oh, and what a grand display oh, that you The likes of which shall be sung up for years to come. Wow. Just be ready to strike when the time is right. Oh. I'll take you all on. At the same time, with one heart. No, About goddamn time! I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I'm Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! All right, this way. Put my fist in! Finally, things get interesting! <laughs> What fun this is! Let's finish this. Let's see what you can do. I power. Oh, damn it. Die. Oh. 
Queen. Let's do it. We should go. Agreed. There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Given that they outnumber us a hundred to one. As you wish, bella mia. Watch for the large one. Dante is called. Most of Silvio's men are useless. But that one's trouble. I like Bartolomeo. Extend yourself now. Just let me know. I'm nobody. It's not important. Ah, sweet Frida. How I have missed you. Silvio set his men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah, no need. Bartolomeo is always prepared for a fight. Fall in. If you value your life, you'll stand down. Never! What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them. Follow my lead. Let's see what you can do. Ma cosa aspetti? Shall we dance? Coraggio! This way. Is there something? Do I do anything? That should heal quickly now. What a mess they've made. Bianca. I hope she is unharmed. Is everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place. From poor Bianca. If something's happened to her. Aha! Oh, my darling. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Charmed. So... I know your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. Uh, three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot, in good conscience, leave them behind. Intesi, I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. Leave no man behind. What to do with this lot? Flood the cage, I say. Drown them all and be done with it. Assassino, get him! Following the increase in accidents and drownings upon the Grand Canal, a decree has been brought into effect. Many thanks for the aid, friend. We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. Stay close. 
merchants dealing with spice and spices. A talent will be imposed to help fund the cost of maintaining the arsenal. I still there elixir of lead and pomegranate. I feel for the full decree to see if you are eligible. Sit tight. On the arm. Wait a minute. Stop a moment. Echo. We'll like a word with Get him. 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 Stay here. Mercy, mercy, I've done On me. We are with you, friend. Only lead the way. And we have a band of eight. Hang on. Now it's been up. All right, this way. Let us join you. Together we will crush the Barbarigo. Salute Ezio! Welcome back! And well done! My host is restored to its former glory. Now Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No! We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the arsenal I drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Exactly. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. Segui me. And we have this giant mercenary company. Right. Uh, I'll play with the game. Probably Echo, suggesting you. There, there. Very well, if you insist. Can't actually leave this guy. Come on, I'm going to get out of here. Come on, I'm going to get out of here. Come on, I'm going to get out of here. Very well, if you insist. We need as many of these guys alive as possible. Follow my lead. Now, don't draw it. Thank to God you are here, Amico. Whoa. 
Here for my signal. As you wish. Let's go. Hold your ground here. Consider it done. Andiamo. All done. Qui. Let's do it. This is where you wait. Send word when it's time to strike. Your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district and fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will. Two birds. One plane. Technically, the two birds, two blades, one assassin.
Bartolomeo needs my help. Okay, thanks for telling us that too. I was gonna say that. Oh, but, okay. Now we can finally take on Dante. Sadly, must return to l'arsenale. Yeah, he decides to flee. We don't need to Care for some company. By all means! After him! Ah. I don't think what casually is going to get us there faster. A fine specimen, isn't he? You should be honored to die by his hand. Come on! We need to stop that grassone bastard! That's why I'm being a fool. Yes, guard! This is the best guard can. You think I don't know why you're giving your HO? That's your too late! There's a from obtaining it! What? Enough of this! We're out of time! Return to me! We must depart! Ezio, go now! That brute will no doubt lead you straight to his master. My men and I will remain here and keep the guards from giving chase. <laughs> Hurry! They're going to leave without us! I feel good. You can't escape. Or balls. Try it target. again. Oh. One target's dead. Get the other. Oh. Ironically, it's Dante that ends up always being the same target I kill. He will not <laughs> get away. Trip. No way you'll get through we once we need to He runs up here. What's happened here? Why the boats? I thought you saw the doge seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want... They... Want... Non temete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescant in pace. Well done, Ezio. Silvio is defeated. And the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace e tranquillità. We should celebrate this victory! I'm glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo. But I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. We found out they're after something. Letter to Dante Moro Choir, which we'll look at this episode. But probably we'll end the episode because I believe the next set of episodes are tailing quests and they're not that great. They're very long and we'll need an episode just to deal with them.
probably end up heading to Monte Giorgio to get the money. And then. God. Load up quicker. Alright, let's cut the scene. There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. I'm so close to the end now, but... no closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet. Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex, leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia? When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see the killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici, my father and brothers, it was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. My love, I wonder if ever the day will come when these words might make sense to you once more. I am sorry for what I've done, and for what you and I have both become. Though we could not be together, just knowing you were near was enough. And now, with Marco dead, I may yet find a way for us to be joined again. But, do you even remember me? Or were the wounds too grave? Do my words stir, if not your memory, then your heart? It doesn't matter what they say. I know you're still in there, somewhere. I will find a way, my love, to remind you, to restore you. Love always, Carlotta. I believe we can actually look at Dante Mora.
targets. Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this, Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriages till death do us part, and Marco's a good Catholic. So he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So what does Marco do? Well, he hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella. Yeah. Effectively, what we were doing was putting Dante out of his misery. God, that must have been the worst. I'm not going to go into all those database entries. Well, actually, I kind of will, but at the end of the series. Probably because they're really interesting and, well, it's really the most Sean's going to get to shine. So, anyways, next time we will probably find out what exactly has been brought to Cyprus to be the piece of Eden or something else and hopefully find this profit. See you guys then. Zeno Nozuma, signing out.